King of Hello World, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I've been able to share my own experiences with you guys on what it's like for me to live on the autism spectrum. Other times I like to give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. And finally, uh, giving tips and advice to individuals on the spectrum and to their friends and their families and their peers and their mentors and to anybody that um, wants to learn anything that they can about autism, and finally, things that I'm passionate about, like My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and that's no joke. And before I go into this evening's topic, what I'm going to do is cross-promote all these videos. I'm here at, in the evening uh, listening to Dr. Temple Grandin. She's here, and I had a few photo snaps with her, and I've also already asked her a question, but basically I'm having a good time, and what I would like to do is cross-promote these videos. So the first one that I recommend for you guys is that you check out Dr. Temple Grandin's movie. Now, I'm uh, listed the trailer right here, and it was... Um, starring uh, none other than the lovely Claire Danes, who's one of my favorite actresses. And then uh, I would also recommend that you check out her uh, video uh, documentary, The Woman Who Thinks Like a Cow. And that's a really good documentary. It's like Temple Grandin up close and personal, and how she behaves around the cattle, and what her life is like. And then um, I'd also like to put in, as usual, her TED Talk. So, this afternoon, again, I was able to get pictures with Temple Grandin, and I was I got a couple of them, and a few other people who were sitting next to me got pictures of me standing up there with Dr. Grandin as well. And I was also able to listen to most of her stuff, and I was also able to ask her a question. And I found out a few things that were really interesting. Number one, she does not care about the autism label at all. She's only interested in um, the mind behind the autistic because in her mind she's looking at a person first. And it turns out that Temple Grandin also agrees with my former colleague and good friend Stacy Ramirez who works at the Ark of Georgia. Now she was a guest speaker earlier and she's also all about community building and getting uh, kids on the spectrum out and working in the community. And I have uh, sort of my similar motto with my video blogs. And then I found something out about autism and behavior. And one of the things that she made perfectly clear is that just because a kid with autism is kicking and screaming, it does not mean that they want attention. It means that they are um, hurting and they're talking through their body language, sort of like a dog or a cat trying to let you know why they're growling at you, why the cat turned around and whacked you. It's not that they're being mean on purpose. It means that they're trying to tell you something because they can't come out and say it like I can. So they use body language and they use all kinds of weird motions that other people don't understand. Like she talked about somebody who could put their hands up in the air and they could uh, they could mean that they've got some stomach problems. And she said a lot of people do not understand that. And then she even said that there are people who will vomit on cue because they can't tell you what's wrong. And she said that she was at a uh, previous conference and it was very direct and it was very honest. And while I was thinking, thank you for sharing that, Temple, another side of me said, oh, that's interesting. So that's another tidbit of information. And I also had a chance to ask Temple Grandin a question firsthand because I'm a brony and I watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And I had to ask her as to whether or not uh, the people who work behind the scenes of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic uh, have some sort of a uh, autism related trait because of the creativity and the artwork and the voices and the storylines and the plots. And she had been to um, Pixar and a few other animator studios. And oh, she had been in a few other animator studios. And she had been at, um, uh, I don't know. But just basically, it was really fun to listen to Temple. So, anyway, 
Um, if you have any questions or comments, do not forget to subscribe. I have a few video clips of Temple Grandin walking up to the podium and speaking, and I will be sure to list those. Until next time, I'm Maya, and I'm signing off.